Hey guys, Portia here. Today we're going to design a wrap for this 20 ounce tumbler. I will be using Canva. Now the trick to today's tutorial is all about Canva free. I will not be touching anything in the pro version because I want to show you guys what Canva has to offer if you choose not to pay for which it has. Okay, let's go ahead and create a design and we are going to do custom size. Now I recently used the size 11 by eight and a half inches and that's what we are going to do today. Now the particular tumbler that we're using has a taper to it. So I have a template that I wanna use and it's in my uploads. I purchased this from Etsy and I did remove the background so that we were just left with this red shape here. Now what I have learned is as long as my width is 9.8 and the height is 8.4. I will be all good and this will wrap around the tumbler perfectly. Uh, be sure to measure your tumbler though because not all tumblers are created equal. All right, so that's pretty good. So the goal here is to make sure that everything is inside of this red box here. And I'm gonna go ahead and center this. All right, that looks pretty good. When we print, it will print with our red box, but I'm gonna cut all along the inside of the red line so that doesn't show up on our actual design. What I wanna start with first is a name. This tumbler is going to be for my daughter and she asks that I make her a tumbler with her name on it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So what I wanna do first is change the font. So let's go ahead over here. Now Canva does have a lot of free fonts which are super cool. Some of them are in the pro version. If we see the little crown there, that means it's in the pro version and you can only get it when you pay with the monthly subscription. But we are not worried about that today. There is a font that I like and it's called Amsterdam 3. And I like this one because it's really bold and it looks like a signature. So that's going to be the focal point of our design today. What I am going to do is go ahead and add an effect to it and I like the shadow effect and I think I am going to, no, we'll leave it the same. I was going to change the color of our shadow. Um, you can change the transparency, you can make it a different color if you want to, different things like that. But I think I'm going to roll with the gray black here. And I'm going to turn this to the side because it's going to go straight up the center. And again, I'm using my guideline here to ensure that I don't color outside the lines. Now, the next element that my daughter wants on here are is, I was gonna say is, are, are flowers. And it's actually a sunflower. And again, we have various flowers here. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. Again, if we got the little uh, crown by it, it says pro, that's going to be the paid version. But today we are looking to use one that is free and this is the one that we're going to use. So what I'm gonna do is just continue to stay within, in, within my little guideline, but I wanna vary the size of our little sunflowers here to create an all over pattern. And I'm gonna keep doing that until this looks exactly the way I want it to. So um, I'm gonna just fast forward through that. You guys don't have to watch me fuss around with these little sunflowers. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. Some of them I did overlap, but I tried to fill in as many as possible. And we are where we need to be. Now, what I wanna do now is go ahead and download this as a PDF, and I always do high quality. And we are just going to say download. All right, shout out to Brenda Luna. This is for you, dear. 
um, she wanted to see exactly how I print to ensure that the size is the size that I say it ought to be. So I said this needs to be 9.8 by 8.4. And when we switch it over to PDF, the size should remain the same. So I just want to show you guys what my printer setup looks like. I'm using a converted echo tank and I want to go into my print um, dialog box and show you guys my preferences. Now, the one I am going to choose, I have some printing presets in here. The one I'm gonna to choose today is this particular one. It's eight by five by 11 and it's in landscape. And um, we have premium presentation matte and it's gonna be high quality, of course, color. I got my print preview on because I always like to see that. And when I um, go over to more, I have my image mirrored. So when I have all of these set in place, everything prints out the way we see it and at the size that we want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. And I always like to see my print preview because it, it's just one of those fail safes just before we actually print so we won't waste any product. And this is actually what I Our want to see. Our image is ready. It came out the right size. This one will have a little bit of a seam because I should have paid more attention to the edging here if I wanted, there to, to, wanted it to look seamless. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. So I've already cleaned off my tumbler. I am going to go ahead and get it wrapped and we can press. All right, Asa paper is on. Last little bit is my parchment paper. All that nice and tight. Don't need a lot of tape this outside layer all right now of course the press is not made for tumblers so I picked these little oven mats mitts have want to call it up from Dollar Tree and I am going to use them to compensate for the tumbler being skinny and not fully fitting our heat press and so what we are going to do is press this 20 seconds in three rotations for the top and the bottom and then the rotations overlap so i'm going to turn the bottom three overlapping turns and then i'm going to flip it and do the top with three overlapping turns and each turn will be 20 seconds so at the end of the day we are going to be pressing for a total of a, a, just over uh, two minutes and i am going to use this as a guidelines for when i get this back around to where it started i'm going to flip i'm going to start here with our first press let it go all right so this is my final rotation and we are baked so i'm gonna go ahead and let this cool off i'm gonna sit this right on here so my mat doesn't burn up and then we'll come back and we will unwrap together let's see what we got All right, this is my favorite part, y'all. It's looking good, ain't it? Look at that peek -a -boo. No, okay. So I am loving what I see so far. The thing about these holographic um, tumblers is that everything looks super sparkly especially in natural light is is so dope but let's take a look at our name i should turn it this way should i take a look at our name here came out excellent 
so i hope maya loves this because i am i've always worried feeling. about putting color on top of color when it comes to sublimation but we can clearly read all of these so colors. let's go ahead and take a closer look at our time all right guys so as little tiana looks on maya's cup is making her debut on the spinner I am so pleased with the way it came out. I love the theme that Maya picked. The yellows are really vibrant in this one and the holographic design just makes everything that much better. And if we take a look here around the back, I almost did it guys. I almost got away with a completely seamless look. If you go all the way down and come on back up, we almost made it. Maybe next time I'll you know think about creating a seamless pattern but yeah guys this is all i have for you today if you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know go ahead and subscribe to color me portia but until next time peace